moves or like the, the frame moves, um, it won't crack. So. So, we had to make a decision. Go metal, or I guess this is a laminate product for our outside corners. And with a little bit of research, I decided to go with this, simply because I can pick it up in a box, and it goes quick, and yeah. I've seen too many times where metal corners have cracked in drywall, and apparently the paper-backed corners with the laminate on the inside works a little bit better for that. So it's kind of what I'm going with. So I'm gonna put corners on, and then Katie and I are going to do our second layer over our tape and tape some of the spots that I forgot to tape when we started taping. So we're gonna get our second layer on today and our corners on today. And our goal really is to get our upstairs ready for paint before anything else so that we don't have to come up and down and up and down. We can kind of get this done up here and then we can start focusing downstairs. Yeah, that'll, that'll be just fine. I like that a lot. Never done this before either. Outside corner. Um, here goes nothing, I guess. Okay, I got a fair bit of the uh, fill coat, I guess you call it, on most of the vertical butt joints. I did do some of the other horizontal ones if it was going to be easy. Couldn't really do near the corner spots because we did the corner um, taping mud this earlier today. So we have to wait for that to dry a little bit before we can continue on with anything near the corners. But uh, yeah, it's uh, not easy. But I don't know how we're doing. I don't know if we're doing good or not. <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell. 
I don't know what it should look like, so yeah, that's just the beauty of doing it for the first time. Are you using the ladder right here? Yeah. Yeah, it was. Right here. When it's like this, we're using it. <laughs> oh. Not so sketchy when you get on it, is it? <laughs> I guess not. Not sketchy enough. Close door, please. You better explain what you're doing because people are going to wonder why you're using that tool. Using a six inch trowel instead of a long trowel. Because it works. Because it's easier to use. <laughs> How about that? Also, a ton of people were asking why we didn't use tape, and I don't know if they just commented before they watched the whole video, or if they just completely missed the part where we were putting tape on the walls. <laughs> we did use tape, <laughs> and uh, what we did do. I thought that was an odd comment, and it happened. There was quite a few comments about it. <laughs> uh, what we did do is we v-notched our seams, and pre-filled it with hot mud. Mm -hmm so that it didn't crack when we put on our tape. Yeah, it was just one of the uh, methods we saw on YouTube. Come on in, let's check it out. Come see what's going on. That's your fucking seat. Totally not allowed. Chaos. Chaos. <laughs> what do you guys think? You want to move in? No peeing or pooping. Come on, fat boy! <laughs> Whoa! So we're going to wait for our mud, our second coat of, of uh, mud to dry upstairs, which is happening pretty quick. So we should be good for tomorrow to put our third on. But while we're waiting, we're kind of thinking we could either sit on our butts or we could put some insulation in the ceiling. Now, our house is fully insulated right now, but what we're doing is uh, we're adding more sound insulation so that we, because we have an open concept home, we want to make it so that sound upstairs doesn't travel downstairs, downstairs doesn't travel upstairs. And we need to get the insulation out of the way because it's the insulation's taking in the way. up space. <laughs> taking up space and you need to drive all where the insulation is as well. So let's get to it. I want to sit on my ass. actually work on this little closet now that we have the insulation out of the way I can go through and um, fill in all the gaps with the mud and then all of the main living area will be ready for tape so I can hopefully do that tomorrow as long as everything is dried out by then so slowly but surely we're making some progress <laughs>
All right, got that closet all done, ready to dry out, and then I'll start up taping tomorrow downstairs. Gonna call it a night, I think, for today, and back at it tomorrow. Hello, hello. I've just spent the morning cleaning up the house. I got everything kind of organized, swept, cleaned up all the bits and bobs that were on the ground, got all the, some, vacuumed up some drywall dust, and uh, you can see it's on the camera. <laughs> now I'm going to start sanding down the um, quick set that we used down in the living room area. This is gonna be a lot of work, I think. In our last video, you would have seen us, Greg, running down the stairs because the quick set was starting to uh, kick off. And so we were rushing to get it on the walls. So it's a little bit thick, it's a little bit messy, and uh, it's probably gonna take a fair bit of sanding, but it is what it is. So I'm just gonna try and knock it out today and then maybe this evening or tomorrow I can start taping all of downstairs and get that ready. So that's probably going to be in the next video, but I think I'm going to wrap this one up with some sanding. So cue the sanding time lapse. <laughs> Runny nose inside the mask, that's a bit weird. <sighs> okay, that was a power sand, I'm done. Except for one little section, but there's drywall in front of it, so I'm just gonna leave that for now. And uh, I'll go jump in the shower, because probably as far as I'm gonna get today. Oh, I made some good progress. I'm pretty happy with how far we've gotten. It's really not that bad so far like it getting the mud on nicely has been was challenging but I feel like we're getting the hang of it now and sanding was a lot easier than I thought down here I thought it was gonna be way more but a lot of the spots are covered gonna be covered with trim so it doesn't really matter uh, always learning but that's okay we will catch you in the next video. Have a great week, everyone. And don't forget, hit the thumbs up and say hi down in the comments. We'll see you next weekend.